here we have a world champion, five-time world champion, and other titles too numerous to count. Vishwanathan Anand, Vishy, you're playing again for the first time after something like 16 months. What does it feel like to be in the hall, touching the chess pieces, moving them on the board with some hostility? Uh, it, <clears throat> it started to come back, but the first game was, uh, it, it felt very strange. Uh, there were several, several moments where I realized, oh, I have to make a move now because, uh, uh, because when you're sitting at home, you're always in an analysis mode, and uh, suddenly you actually have to make a decision. Uh, I mean, I, have, I may have two good continuations, but I have to choose one. So it was, uh, but okay, I'm happy I got through today. Were there some nerves involved? Did you feel those good old uh, oh, yeah. nervous tension? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, definitely before, before coming here, before the game and all, I had uh, uh, the usual attack of nerves. Uh, it was almost uh, nice to remember it. But <laughs> <laughs> you also hadn't traveled in a while as well. You mentioned something like 375 days without being on an airplane. That's yes. got to be something strange for you. Yes, airplane to airplane. So I landed in uh, Bangalore on... Um, no, I landed in Chennai from Bangalore on the 6th of June, and I flew out on the 16th of June. So that was uh, 375 days. <laughs> and, um, but okay, that's a couple of weeks back, and uh, of course the flight uh, was no problem. But um, playing, uh, that's another story. Before we get to this position in, in the game, you're, you're here in this event with Gary. It's got to be special. It's a mix of generations. You've got... You and Gary played a match in 95. Uh, we got people in this tournament who weren't born before 95. <laughs> what do you feel about this incredible mix of ages and, and, and top players? Um, actually, it's kind of nice. There is, uh, I don't know how to divide it, but part of the tournament is, is going to be like a flashback, <laughs> me and Gary. And uh, that also didn't happen very often. I mean, we played a couple of times in St. Louis and then here. Uh, and then I've got the rest of the field, so I'll almost like dividing into two. But uh, we'll get to blitz when we get to blitz. Indeed you will. This position we have here, just one moment in the game, where you decided to sacrifice on F5. Did you, when you played it, did you think you were breaking through? I, it was kind of consequential, because by the time I got here, I mean, I went queen h2, uh, which is a mistake, I guess. Well, the comp says rook at 6. In fact, my queen is doing a great job defending here, so I don't need to go there. He went king f7, and now I, I was in this thing of having said a, I'm going to say b, and the hell with it, because by now I'd seen I'd seen bishop d3 appear in my uh, thing, and uh, I knew that I had uh, bungled it, but I just went ahead. In fact, probably because I thought that I didn't have queen at seven, I thought I had to crawl back to d2, but apparently I could have done the same. I could have gone queen at seven, taken on g6, and gone bishop c3, mm -hmm. which thing. But later on, I saw bishop c3 because when I got here. My original plan was uh, this, so um, if he goes king d7, what I had calculated was queen takes a6, uh, check, king a2, rook a8, and now e6 wins. Right. And king c7, bishop e5, and it's a nice thing where the, 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 the connection of the rooks has to be broken. So having calculated this, I was very excited when I went to queen h2 and sacrificed, and then realized, of course, he doesn't even need to take on g6, actually. So that was strange for me. He could play hit six, and it's a, mm. uh, it's just a long-term thing. It's quite. Uh, I'm quite surprised he took on g6, but uh, because one move earlier I'd blundered, and so on. I mean, we we'll, don't want to get uh, too far away. But uh, I was uh, looking for this, and once we got here, I realized I don't have a move. All my pieces can't come back. Though maybe queen g3 is good. Oh, sorry, queen g2. But I didn't see a move because if both the rooks land in bishop d3 check lines. And then I was happy when I saw bishop c3, and I knew, okay, uh, the opposite color bishop ending, but that's going to be easy. Life is good. Your start then, satisfied with the day, and feel like you got rid of the, the nerves and the rust? A bit. I mean, I was, uh, it's a bit careless to uh, lose the second one, but given the fact that I was even lucky in the first one, I think I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you play your games. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Sure. Thanks.